Hi again, I'm Linda, and today we're gonna work on a pasta installation that has tons of different interesting shapes of pasta. And we're gonna have so much fun with the pasta abilities. We are going to build out an art piece that will have a core, a heart, and that core in the middle will be made of a raviolone. Raviolone just means big raviolo. So that's our center. That is the center of our universe right there. Number two is going to be a bunch of square ravioli. With all of this pasta, when we're done today, we are going to boil it all. We're gonna eat all of these different colors. But sometimes there are just pasta scraps that have become too dry. A couple of uses for them, you can actually bake them, turn them into crackers, use them to scoop up a cheese or a dip that you've made. I feel like pasta and pasta making for me is just this zen art that's very meditative. We will have triangle ravioli around the squares. Those will be orange, they're really funky and pretty. You can't forget the farfalle. Farfalle is like the classic shape. The little butterflies. When I was making pasta and I was a little kid, I could barely hold a knife and we didn't have any fancy tools for pasta making. So farfalle, I would say, was a really approachable, easy one to start just because that one is such a classic. And once you learn to really make it, you can make a thousand of them. This is my friend, the pasta bike. Nice to meet you. Next up is a shape called pakari. Pakari are rolled on a dowel. It's a good thing that we're all adults here because it's gonna remind you of something else, but get your mind out of the gutter and truly just enjoy the artistry of the process that I think you can really appreciate and enjoy it on many levels. Next up, we have Coulorgiones. Coulorgiones are from Sardinia, a little island off of Italy. It's these little squashy, chubby little dumplings that are rolled and shaped in a very interesting and unique way. So right now I'm actually really into pasta origami. I'm getting a lot of inspiration from other sort of art forms and how I can bring that to my pasta. So for me, these shapes are so cool and I love being able to show people some of the classics that we've made today. We have Inganapretti. Inganapretti means trick the priest. What's the story behind that? And the trick is that they look like they're little tortellini, but there's nothing inside. Surprise! We have these really cool, just wispy strands of fettuccine. Our strands are, again, all of the colors represented. It actually looks really pretty already. Imagine what it's gonna look like with all the colors. I always thought my entire life that I was an artist and everybody always told me that I wasn't and that I was terrible. Well, it turns out that I just hadn't found my medium. I get really inspired by the entire world around me when I'm making pasta. I feel like when you sort of have found your medium, you're just always looking for ways to express it. And I do think to me brings a little bit of a deeper sense of soul to my work. Pasta la vista, baby. Oh, yes.